Perry Mack here for Four Wheel Drive Magazine, and we're again at the SEMA Show 2018, and we found the X Venture from Shut Industries. Mike, tell me, what have you done here? We've got a, a new X Venture 3 trailer for you today. Um, this one has 22 gallons of water. It has 19 inches of ground clearance, all the cooking um, apparatuses you need. We have an electrical system, lights all the way around, a tent on top, everything you need to be out in the desert for a week at a time, no problem. Sounds good, yeah. sounds good. So, what's behind door number one? Door number one, we have two burner cooktop right here. The propane is right in front of you, it's plumbed in. Everything is plumbed through the uh, frame rails, all the wiring, all the uh, electrical, all the uh, um, water is, is through the frame rail, so uh, you have no chance of hurting it when you go off-road. The, the sink pulls out even further. We have an on-demand water heater right here, so it allows you to take a shower. We have a, a receptacle on the other side for an outdoor shower. This is hot and cold running water right here. Um, and what do I see on the outside? What's the, uh... This is all uh, Line-X. Oh, okay. So we Line-X the, the sides, the top, and inside the bed. Super. Mm -hmm. And Line-X over steel or? It's all aluminum. The okay. trailer's 100% aluminum. Oh. The chassis, the box is all put together with huck bolts. It's an Alcoa patented design. We do all our uh, military trailers the same way. So it's, it's 5,000 pounds of shear strength and tinsel strength. Much tougher than a weld that allows the trailer to flex without cracking any welds or whatnot. So 10 year warranty on the entire chassis and box. Oh, okay. And you mentioned military. Mm -hmm. How are you guys related to the military? We are actually the world's largest military trailer manufacturer. Wow. We've been at it for over 20 years. We've been doing off-road trailers for over 20 years. So we're not new to the industry. I noticed that the tires are pretty skookum. Is that a stock or story standard feature for the trailer? Yeah, the, the trailer will actually accept up to a 37 inch tire. Wow. Um, so. We, we recommend that you match the tire and wheel to the vehicle that you're pulling it with. So if you're running 35s or 37s, no problem, just bolt them on. And we can also interchange the hubs. So if you have a Toyota, we can put Toyota hubs on. If you have a, a Jeep, we'll put Jeep hubs on. So that way you only have to carry one spare. What's the weight of the trailer as it stands? Because I can see it's got everything I could possibly want on it. Right. Um, well, without all this stuff on, it starts about 900 pounds. And the way you see it, it's about 1,400. So we have people with Subarus buying yeah. these things, so it's it's really light. The aluminum really helps the uh, save the weight, and also, of course, the way it's built, it's uh, it's stronger than any other trailer on the market. Like I see a lot of guys that pretend to be overland trailers, mm -hmm. and the first thing I notice when I walk up to it is they're using a standard ball hitch, which right. is nonsense. Right. This is not a standard ball hitch. It is Tell me not. What we've got going on. Uh, this is by Arc Industries. Um, it's their extreme overland uh, ball hitch. It allows you to articulate the trailer without the coupler coming off the ball. Uh, what you've seen is uh, a regular ball and, and hitch that'll just pop off because oh, yeah. of the angle of articulation. This allows you to articulate 360 degrees if, if you get yourself in that position, but, and it won't pop off the ball. It's really simple to use. The ball goes in. Just hit it, now you're ready to go. So when you when you unlock it, you go. the ball comes out, you're gone. Now I see you've got a smaller five pound tank on yep, here. Yep, five pound tank. Um, can it, will a trailer accept a larger 20 pound tank? Yeah, we have two sizes of trailers. This is an XV3, our XV2 comes with the 20 pound tank. All right. But we can put it on here if you need to. You'd be surprised how long this lasts because you know, cooking and and uh, and the hot water heater really don't take much propane. It's it's easily a month worth of propane unless you're using it for a campfire. Well, and that's exactly what I was thinking. A lot yeah. of times we have fire restrictions in place, yeah. uh, so that little fire pit might be kind of nice. And yep. a twenty pound tank. Mike, what have we got behind door number two? <laughs> door number two is our electrical system. So we have uh, our rocker switches here. We got the rack lights. Oh. Uh, water pump for the shower and the faucet. This is a spare switch for a lot of guys like to put air compressors on board. ARB yeah. makes a nice air compressor that fits right in here and allow you to air up your tires when needed. Yep. Um, rock lights down below, see, uh, it helps you see when you're backing up or when you're in camp. 
We have bed lights, so inside the bed you can see what you've put inside and what you need to take out, that type of thing. Reverse lights, so you can see everything behind you and there's also an extra light on the rack that points backwards. Nice. We have two Odyssey batteries and uh, an inverter, 120 watt inverter. We have um, the battery uh, maintainer right there that also plugs right here into shore power. Oh, okay, good. Allows you to keep the batteries charged. Solar controller right here. So here's the universal solar control uh, pin. And this uh, keeps all your batteries charged for weeks at a time, yeah. So does the trailer come with a solar pack? It doesn't, that's an option, okay. um, but anybody's solar panels work. That's the good thing about this, it's a universal yeah. plug. It's our water fill. Right. Yes, so we can put 22 gallons of water. The tank is a food grade plastic tank and it's positioned above the axle to keep the weight distribution low. Um, it's nice. protected by a skid plate, armor skid plate, so you don't have to worry about puncturing the tank. And right here we have an emergency brake. We have one for our parking brake, one for each side. You can set set the brake, you can position the trailer and then set the other one and then you don't need to chalk the wheels either so yeah, yeah. that's a unique feature. We put that on all our military trailers as well. So I noticed we've got like a tonneau cover in the back. So it's aluminum and it, it'll support 500 pounds so a lot of people like to sleep on it as well when it's warm outside or they have extra people uh, they just put a sleeping bag up here and, wow. and use it as a spot to sleep. One thing I wanted to note is these trailers come completely ready for every option so if you decide you want you know, to downsize or you want to uh, buy just the basic model and later add accessories. Yeah. Every trailer comes pre-drilled and ready for every accessory. So it makes nice. it easy for the do-it-yourselfer to, to add everything to yeah. his trailer. Yeah. Uh, I noticed you got some big brake lights in the back. Yes, we do. Um, we have lights all around the trailer, but these, these are tough. Um, again, we've, this is derived out of military use. Um, if you, if you don't protect them, over protect them, they're going to get smashed. So yeah. same with these fenders. I mean, yeah. and they're all replaceable as well. If you did decide you wanted to smash everything up, you can, <laughs> you can just take them off and put new ones on. Right. So it, it's really easy to use. Um, are the fenders sturdy enough that I can stand to get up on top? Absolutely. You can walk around this entire trailer. You can also stand on top of the box. It's very tough. It's built to, uh, to take a punishment. We, we take these trailers on the Rubicon Trail too. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're tough. Um, racking system, yeah. adjustable height? This one on the XV3 is not. The XV2, the larger trailer, has an adjustable height rack. This one is positioned right here. You can, from the factory, you can ask us to, um, to position it higher for you if you like, if you want more uh, accessories in the box. But right now, this one's stationary where it is. See that this is uh, Ridge Industries Lights, one of the top yeah. brands. And yeah. We only use uh, top quality manufacturers for all the accessory yeah, parts. Yeah, I can see that. James Brood tent. We're getting down to sort of the meat and potatoes back here. All right. And I see a great big hunk of stainless steel, and it can't just be for show. Nope, it's not. It's for either meal prep or working on your parts. So just pulls out like this and um, just gives you some extra table space to work on. Well, I'm thinking this is my fish cleaning station. <laughs> yeah, nice. your wife might not like that. But uh, yeah, we use it for, uh, for meal prep mostly, yeah. but you know, it's... you can use it to repack the wheel bearings in your car if you want. So the inside of the bed, four by six by 19? 19 inches, yep. yep. Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like a lot of room. It is. Um, a lot of guys put, um, you know, their, their cargo in here for hunting. Um, yeah. Um, we, we sell these to contractors. They haul brick, they haul rock, they throw all their stuff in here. They use it during the week and on the weekends, take it out and go camping. The total GVW is 3,500 pounds. You know, we can spec it with a, a heavier axle too. So if you oh. want to put, uh, you're going to haul more weight, we'll just put a heavier axle on it for you. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, two inch hitch? Two inch hitch. You can use it to uh, haul your motorcycle. You can put a motorcycle uh, holder on it or right. bicycle rack or whatever you want. But yeah, it'll, it'll support uh, 300 pounds. Well, you know, we got to bring your toys. That's right. That's what it's all about. That's it for the Xventure trailer by Shut Industries. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for us. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And leave us some comments below. What else would you like to see in a trailer like this? And what's your favorite feature as it sits? Thanks very much. Stay safe. We'll see you on the trails.